Hello and welcome to Random Acts of Poetry. I should have been a little bit more prepared with my iPad. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday's piece, I don't know why I tell you what day it is because you could be watching these at any order really I guess. Yesterday's piece uh, was a previous poem uh, in an old collection. And I was getting, well, I didn't say I was getting uptight, but I wanted to write a poem to do with more relevant things. I, mean, I can't get much more relevant war and, and burning the planet. Uh, but, you know, to do with what's going on in the British politics at the moment and this destruction of the planet. And I wanted to work on the idea of contempt because I find that our government, and it seems it doesn't matter which government it is, apart from maybe Atlas, Atlas government of 1945, holds the whole UK electorate in contempt. I feel that the world government of corporate institutions and industries holds the needs of humanity in contempt. It just sees us as being cash cows to produce more wealth for their infinite, infinite coffers. Um, you have to excuse the ding there. That was uh, from a person who sort of helped me write this poem today. <laughs> I just sent it to him. Anyway, contempt. We hold ourselves in contempt. We hold the bloody world in contempt. We live within our comfort zones that we've created. We're frightened to step out. We're frightened to take on board the ideas of vegetarianism or even veganism. We're frightened to work for ourselves and stop working for the corporate machine. We're frightened not to buy into it. I don't have any other answers apart from maybe be a bit more mindful about what we do and how we approach our lives. Anyway, here you go. Contempt. Searching for the words which would describe the horrors seen by these eyes, but all I find are the four walls of my closed mind. The world knocks a window of light through as I recognise the acts of torture that the slaughterhouses do. Yet my indoctrination stops me taking the next step to a less bloody table. A door is flung open as our government is held in contempt by Parliament, and I question the rights of these politicians to create their rules to fulfil the missions that line the pockets of the few. War is waged on all fronts, not just with the bullets and bombs fired by brainwashed soldiers, but on the supermarket shelves of corporate warfare and the wrestling match over the life-giving water we all must share. I'm told, though, that health and welfare, the access to clean water, isn't a human right by those with the need to hoard, through greed, all the planet's freely given wealth.